Welcome back guys. Today I am doing this intense lip look. I saw a picture that inspired me. Plus I've been seeing all of these pics of the light Kylie lip kit and it had this gorgeous brown lip and I really wanted to do a look with that type of lip color. This is actually a pretty easy look to do so we're gonna get started right away. I'm starting with the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer. This is a really good eye primer. I've used it a few times now and I really like how well it holds all of the eyeshadow. So the inspiration for this look is from a picture I saw of Nikki Tutorials. She posted this picture on her Instagram and I fell in love with the lip color because I've always wanted to do a look like this and then I look back and I don't have a single look like this on my channel. So I was like, okay, this is perfect. I just hope that I can recreate it as well and do the look justice. So wish me luck, guys. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and I'm using this brown tone shadow right here. So it's just a nice light brown. This is gonna be our crease color. So Alex and I, I wanted to let you guys know, we just came back from Vancouver. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you would know that that is where I grew up. I'm from Canada. And I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but my New Year's resolutions video, I talked a lot about spending more time with my family this year. That's one of my goals for the year. So anyways, I went back home. I thought that maybe it was time for most of my family to meet Alex <laughs> and they did it and it went really really well ah, so I was so happy because I was honestly that's like a huge huge deal um and it went well so I just wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> I'm taking that same eyeshadow running it along my lower lash line I think we're gonna do a quite a bit of layering on the eyes for this look because I want the colors to really show up. So for the base shadow, I'm using this cream shadow from MAC and this is one of their crushed metals. Probably don't have this anymore or they might have something similar. All you really want is some kind of gold cream shadow. Uh, another really great one is the ones L'Oreal has some really great ones. So something similar. This as a base is going to make everything we apply on our lid stand out so much more. Like look how pretty this is. <gasps> okay, even this on its own looks good. <laughs> but this is so nice. Okay, this is like exactly what I wanted. And because we put that um, primer from Lorac first, even though it's a cream shadow, this will really stick. I'm actually not even going to go over this. I was going to go over it with the pigment, but I love how this looks and why not keep it simple? Don't need to complicate it if, that's, if it's not necessary. I'm going to take that same pigment and run a little bit along my lower lash line. I want to say a quick thank you to all of you guys who watched Makeover Goals. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm going to link it for you right here. You have to check it out. Let me give you a little backstory about this whole project. So a while back, a few months ago, Alex and I had the opportunity. I know I'm talking about Alex a lot today. I don't know why. Um, anyways, so Alex and I had the opportunity to come up with any idea for a show that we wanted. One of our ideas was makeover goals. I personally love makeover shows. It's like, who doesn't love to see a makeover? I, it's one of my favorite things. We presented the idea to the producers and they loved it. 
So then we went into production and we filmed this pilot episode. So to balance out the eyes a bit, I'm gonna add a bit of darker shadow on the outer corner. And I think I'm gonna do a, big, a mix of this brown and maybe this brown. I just want something dark so it's not like all one tone. I'm just applying this on the outer corner. Blending it inwards towards the gold. Okay, and then I'm taking that first brush that I use and just blending all this out so it looks a bit softer. I'm going back and forth between mirrors. <laughs> I need to see from every angle. add a bit more dark brown and then we finally saw the final version like a month later and it was so good we were so happy with it and then we released it last week and you guys loved it and that was just like the best thing ever and not only did you guys love it but the comments were so great and you guys want to see more which is amazing and it makes me so 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 happy as long as you guys keep sharing the video, liking the video, leaving comments, there might be more. So that's kind of what it depends on. If the pilot does well, then it might turn into a series. I just like really wishful thinking, like I don't even want to think about it because I get so excited. I'm using this gold shadow from another L'Oreal palette. You can definitely use the lightest color in this palette if you, if you don't want to buy a bunch of things or if you don't want to use a bunch of things. But I really wanted to use this one because this one has a lot of gold in it. So it kind of goes with the whole vibe that we're doing. It's so pretty. I really want like this pop of white shimmer. So I'm using this, so I'm applying it in my inner corner first. And then, with my finger, I'm going to add just a little bit on the center of my lid. It just gives the eyes just that little bit of something more. You can always leave it like this too if you want. <laughs> Next is time for lashes, so I'm curling my lashes first and adding mascara. The lashes that I'm using are these ones from Ardell. This is number 105. Can we just talk about the Makeup Forever glue for a second? So this is the glue that comes with any lashes that you buy from Makeup Forever. This is hands down the best eyelash glue I've ever used. It's so good, it sticks so well. It's like ready to go, ready to go in like five seconds. And I don't know if Makeup Forever sells this on its own without the lashes but if they do can somebody let me know because i'm i know i could probably just look it up but i'm just curious a link for you guys the video on how to apply false lashes if you have trouble applying them i really like these lashes too they're really simple but they have a really pretty shape but they're not too thick so we're still seeing all of that beautiful eyeshadow and it doesn't really take away from the eye makeup for foundation and concealer, I'm using the Ultra HD from Makeup Forever and MAC Select Cover Up. For the eyebrows, I'm using the NYX Brow and No Sculpt and Highlight. I've been using this for about a month now. A month. And, <laughs> and it works really great i love the color i love the texture i think i've said this in another video recently but it's a really great brow pencil this is probably something that i'm gonna get on a regular basis now because it works great and it's super affordable and it's from nyx so you can't really go wrong Okay, before I finish the rest of my face, I'm gonna move on to lips. I'm starting off with a lip liner from Makeup Forever. This is one of their Aqua Lips, and this is number seven. Before I even apply that, I'm applying another product. It is Kiko's Lip Base Primer. You put this as a base all over your lips before you apply the lip product. It's not sticky, but it feels like it has like some grit to it, so whatever you apply over this will really stick it'll stick to it and that's what we want 
We don't want this lip to move. So the reason I wanted to specifically use this lip liner is because it is waterproof. For an intense lip like this, you want it to stick, you want it to stay, you don't want it to move at all throughout the night. A waterproof lip liner is a great step to make sure that happens. So doing these extra steps will really help to make sure that the lip stays all night long. I'm going over the lip liner with this color from NYX Berlin and it's their soft matte lip cream. Once you have your base, then you can go in and perfect. So going in with a little bit of concealer. I like using a lip brush to do this, but any small brush will work. And then take your brush and just run it along your lip to create a really perfect line. And that's it. That is this super intense lip, but I love it. Let's finish off the rest of the face. I'm using one of my favorite bronzers from Neutrogena. This is their number 30, Sunkiss. Bronzer is gonna totally bring this look together, but you're gonna see how much different this look is going to be once we do cheeks and highlighting. I'm using the True Match Barely Blushing Blush from L'Oreal. If you're not sure which blush to use, I recommend using something that is a bit more on the golden orangey side uh, rather than pink. I think that would go really beautiful with this look. Or you could always just use a bronzer for the entire cheek look and not even use a blush. And then the last little touch is adding a bit of highlighter. I'm using this one from MAC. It's one of their mineralized skin, what are these called? Glow Ball, Glow. I'm gonna have all the products for you guys in the description box below so you can always check that out. And there you go guys, that is the final look for this dramatic lip, golden eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit that like button if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And if you haven't watched Makeover Goals, just click right here. And I also did a What I Eat Today video. And you can click here to watch it right there. And that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. We asked you guys to send in your submissions and we found one very lucky couple. Let's see it. 